Peace and power, family. Welcome back to Quotes to Live By, where we're talking about all about love, chapter nine on mutuality. All right, and the first quote I want to get into today says, Though they have reached adult age, they are unable to face adult feelings with responsibilities. Out of touch with their true emotions, afraid to depend on even those closest to them, self-centered and narcissistic, they hide behind masks of normalcy while feeling empty and lonely inside. And I think this is the truth and the reality for so many people in our generation because we are afraid to feel. We are afraid to have strong emotions, right? Because we haven't had them handled and dealt with in safe ways. I think it makes sense for us to go into the world kind of trying to put on a front and pretend like everything is great and everything is all hunky-dory when in reality we have strong emotions that people might not be able to deal with, right? And I think that because we are going into the world like that and entering into relationships like that, we are unable to actually have healthy and fulfilling relationships and i think this is so important as we're going into the new year because people are talking about cutting people off and like being a new person and it's really like you don't have to be new you have to be you the next quote says to them a relationship was about finding someone to take care of all their needs and another quote here says they enter relationships speaking the words of love, even as their actions indicate that maintaining power and control is their primary agenda. So both of those quotes really stood out to me because we are entering into relationships believing that these people will be able to satisfy 100% of our needs. It's unrealistic and it's a lot of pressure to put on someone that you're dating, someone that you're not married to. And even when you are married, believing that one other person can take care of every need that you have outside of, you know, you outside of the things that you can do for yourself, that's wild. That is crazy. And it's unrealistic for us to put those expectations on our relationships. We have to do better. We have to release power and control. We have to take away. We have to act in love instead of acting in power and acting in control, right? You want this person to do this, 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 and this for you. And when they're not and when you can't make them, you got to go. You got to bounce. That's actually controlling. That's actually trying to have power over your relationship and not power with your partner. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> the next quote says, when someone has not known love, it is difficult for him to trust that mutual satisfaction and growth can be the primary found foundation in a coupling relationship. This is why I love this fucking book. Because... With, if we do not know love, if we have not ever experienced safe and healthy love, we aren't going to believe it's real. It's just the math. It's how the math maps in this situation, right? So if you have felt like all my life I haven't really received the love that I need to flourish and to feel fulfilled, then you need to reevaluate, well, what is my idea of love? What does that mean to me? How do I want to express that? How do I want to be received? And can you trust yourself and another person to be able to provide that, to be able to actually do the things that you need and that you believe will make you feel loved? We do not enter our relationships believing that when we have experienced those failures in the past, which is why we shouldn't hop from relationship to relationship because you have to get over that pain and that whatever feeling that you have that's holding on and blocking you from being completely open to love, right? And if it's your parents that you didn't get love from, you have to get over that. You have to forgive them. You have to move past that in order to love yourself and love your partner the way that they need to be loved and the way that you want to be loved. The next quote. <laughs> the next quote says, To practice the art of loving, we have first to choose love. 
admit to ourselves that we want to know love and be loving even if we do not know what that means and this is going back to what i was just talking about another part um another thing that i read that i want to connect to that says choosing to be honest is the first step in the process of love you got to be honest with yourself you got to be straight up with you i want love I don't know what it is and I, I want love that looks kind of like this love over here and looks kind of like that love over there and a little bit of this but none of that you have to be honest and clear with yourself around what you think love is and what you want from love in order to truly receive it it's just the it's just how it works it's no way that you're going to be able to lie about your wants and needs and expectations and then expect to receive what you actually truly want and need it cannot and it does not work that way the next quote i want to read says when we practice love we are shown how to be empathetic how to nurture and most important how to listen right and this is in relationship you can do that with yourself but these, this practice of love and really being love and doing love is best done in relationship with another person, not just by yourself, right? Because you have to be able to be empathetic for somebody else. You have to be willing to listen to somebody else. You have to be willing to nurture somebody else in order to really be moving in love. And if you're not willing to do those things, that's not love. And we have to be honest with ourselves about that. I'm not trying to love, actually. I'm trying to cuddle. I'm trying to be felt on. I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be satisfied sexually. Like, if that's what you want and if that's what you need, then there it is. That's what you do. But outside of that, we can't, we can't depend on ourselves to give us even the empathy nurturing and listening that we need to feel completely loved and satisfied if nobody else but ourselves is listening to us we aren't going to feel as loved as we need to survive let's see some more quotes in here I think that might have been all the quotes I wanted to give today. Oh no, I see some low numbers on the page. Bear with me, family. The last quote that I want to say is, To heal the gender war rooted in struggles for power, women and men choose to make mutuality the basis of their bond, ensuring that each person's growth matters and is nurtured in order for us to make love work for us the way that we need love to work we have to be thinking about the other person we have to be willing to take things away from ourselves and give them to another person we have to be willing to think about others and not just ourselves love is best flourished grown perfected in community in relationship with another person so thank you guys so much for bearing with me through this video so much going on in the space around me and behind me and throughout this year but i definitely wanted to end the year with a video because i believe that y'all are how i'm gonna get free y'all are how i'm gonna practice love the people and mutuality and walking in my purpose and doing the things that I think we need to do in order to heal as a community, I think that's really what's going to be the change that I need in my life and that we need if you're watching this video and yours. So hopefully this video helped you. Sending y'all all the happy holidays and happy new years and all of that. Love you and love others. <laughs> Bye, y'all.